Today was a tremendous day. An engine kept secret from the public was getting revealed today along with their name. The engines excitedly went through the preparations. Fred was less thrilled. Oh, it's probably going to be another grimy steaming and just you watch. What does that matter? For us engines who actually do the work, the extra help is very welcomed. Yeah, Fred. Stop being such a downer about everything. Just then, Scarlowy rolled alongside the maintenance crew. Here are the supplies for your workmen. Thank you, Scarlowy. We can finally finish up the rails for the new engine. Speaking of which, I was just on my way to pick up the party goers. Uh oh? But the party's at five. It's only two. I know, but I have nothing else to do, so I figured I'd just wait at Ulfstead for my departure. All right, have a good one. Safe travels. And Scarlowy left. Down the line, he heard a man shouting. Hey! She's getting really rowdy! Hmm, I wonder what's the matter over there. Soon the afternoon changed to evening, and it was time for Scarlowy's train to leave. Scarlowy was making good time when suddenly his brakes clamped on. What's going on? Look ahead. Scarlowy looked down. In front of him were two small piglets. Oh, these poor piglets. Separated from their mother. I'll go fetch the farmer. Later, the farmer found the piglets on the track. Oh, so this is what was bothering Winnie. Her piglets escaped. We thought they were just playing hide and seek like they normally do. Winnie the pig came down from the hill to meet up with her piglets. Soon the farmer herded them all off the track and waved as Garloi continued with his train. I really hope I'm not too late. At Coven's Gate Sheds, an engine sat in the middle of everyone covered in a tarp. Suddenly, Garloi's whistle made his presence known. So sorry, sir. I ran into a bit of a hurdle. It's all right. Now that you're here, we can start. Mr. Percival grabbed onto the end of the tarp. Without further ado, I present to you our new engine, Ivo Hugh. Ivo what now? We decided to name him after you. You've done so much with restoring rail maintenance. We had to honor you. <laughs> Thank you, I'm honored. And I'm happy to be here. How is everyone? The yard erupted in a chorus of whistles and... <laughs>